Okay, so here's a video how to set the force charge window and also the work mode manually on the inverter screen. So if we go enter, move down to settings, and then work mode, we can change the work mode between self use, feed in, backup, and any others that are added in future by simply selecting it and then pressing enter twice until you see the success message. So that's now in, if we go back, that's now in self-use mode. I can change that to feed in mode by doing the same. There we go. I did notice some extra ones, weak grid mode was one of the extra ones that they recently added. Okay, so same process to <coughs> change the charge time. So if we're back on the home page, we go enter, down to settings. If it asks you for a password, it's defaulted to four zeros. So just enter, enter, enter all the way through the password for four zeros. Go to work mode again charge time and you can see here uh, period one is enabled period two is disabled you can see my period one is from 11 30 at night till 5 30 in the morning because i'm using intelligent octopus to change it i go through i could set p2 now to enabled so use the arrow keys to change it from disabled to enabled the cursor's here i'll follow it all the way through because this is period one and then I would adjust the time using the up and down arrows. So I would set it to that, set the next digit, set the next digit. You get the picture, go all the way through. And then when you get to the end, set charge time. I'm going to cancel that because I don't want to mess up my charge times. But you would keep pressing enter until it's oh, take me all the way through. Keep pressing enter until you um, get to the success message. I'll do that just to clear it off anyway. Set charge time, enter, success. Done, my charge times are set. Uh, so it, to convert from the app to what this is, so P1 uh, enabled means that it will um, charge from the grid is, is what you're seeing there. P2, so P1 is this line, P2 is this line. You've got two charging windows that you see in the app and that's how you do it. This is in hot standby because it's a second inverter on a, in a, a parallel system, so it's just sat here waiting.